Hello, everybody. Total silence from the media, both the Nigerian media and the international media, received the very important information that a religious court, a Jewish religious court, ruled that the Igbo people viewed as the Igbo people of Nigeria are descendants of the biblical Israelites. Total silence. This is in sharp contrast to what we saw a few years ago. A Christian organization based in America purportedly, I repeat purportedly, conducted DNA testing of Igbos and came out with a report that Igbos do not come from Israel or did not come from Israel. How many times did I use the word purportedly? Because later events showed that no such test was carried out and that these individuals who came to Nigeria were not Israeli scientists as the local Nigerian press reported, but just missionaries. They carried out no test, but they went, spoke to the press, the press was willing to listen to them, both the international press carried the false information. What let the cat out of the bag was that the Igbo DNA is strictly sub-Saharan. Meanwhile, legions of Igbo DNA tested shows that Igbo DNA is not only matching the DNA found in the Levant, but it matches DNA found where Abraham was born. Both the local press in Nigeria and the international press went to town circulating this falsehood. But not even one, no paper in Nigeria, no paper in America, no paper in Israel has carried the information that a rabbinical court issued a ruling that he was descended from the Israelites. I will talk about why the Nigerian press has kept quiet. Until people began to think very recently that being Jewish, being Israelite, being Hebrew could confer any advantage. Only the Igbos were identified with this identity a few years ago and they were mocked for being related to the Jews. It was not a thing of pride to be called Jewish in Nigeria in the 1960s. It could get you killed. In the 1970s and 80s, a very powerful and influential non igbo Nigerian politician who joined an igbo led political party was called a slave of the Jews in Nigeria. This is in books. Why are we highlighting all this? Some Igbos think they, they are with allies when they find non Igbos. I mean, some lost Igbos think they are with allies when they find non Igbos who have intimidated them, whom they join to claim that Igbos did not come from Israel. I want to alert those Igbos that those Nigerians who joined them in making this claim are not their allies. And the Israelite identity is not their target. What they really want to achieve is to keep Igbos hovering endlessly, not being sure of who they are, because they are aware that if Igbos accept that they are Israelites, Igbos will begin to look for how Israelites behave. If you go to Deuteronomy 14.22, there is a way Israelites were ordered to share the tithes. And 
collection of tithes is the biggest industry in Nigeria. And the Igbos are the biggest contributors to this industry. So if people say, Igbos, you are Israelites, and Igbos take this serious, Igbos will look for how the Bible said Israelites will pay the tithe if they have forgotten what Omer Anna said about it. Because what Omer Anna says is, bring the tithes to the Obiumunna. Bring it to the household of the oldest man in your Igbo family, and there, share it with the uh, Levites, who among the Igbos are the Umunri. Share it with the Ajadu, the women who, whose husbands have died. Share it with the Mwehone Mwehona orphans. And this was what we saw. My father was the first priest of the Ilona family for over 20 years. The Yihu, that is the title, was brought to him. And it was shared there. This is what they don't want Igbos to know. And so they said Igbos did not come from Israel. And the Fulevu Igbos joined them in repeating that. Because they think that to accept that they came from Israel means that the white man is superior to them. I have heard the full story of the person who worked hardest to confuse Igbos. I was told on record, I was told that this individual came to the United States of America and began to say that the Igbos came from Israel. Shouted down by lazy scholars. This individual turned full circle and began to claim that Igbos existed before the Israelites, that Igbos existed before every other group of humans in the world. Thinking that the bigger the lie, the more sensational and um, prizes will come. And because a lot of people are so lazy these days, they don't want to go to books and find out. The information that the Igbos are Israelites is scattered in books. Every serious person can find them. I am not saying this so that the government of the state of Israel will do anything spectacular for Igbos. Igbos have all the resources they need to rebuild their society. They are in Omenana. But without reverting to Omenana, Igbos will simply remain the people that will be chastised in Nigeria. And Igbos will never take Omenana seriously until Igbos accept that they came from Israel, go back to those sections of the Bible that discuss the Israelites, not the New Testament. Go back to the Torah. Go to Deuteronomy 6.1, read it in Igbo language, and find the phrase Omenana there. And that is when all this complaining on Facebook, complaining on Instagram, compla complaining on Twitter will stop. The Igbos will use their culture, their destiny, and build one of the strongest countries in the world. It happened before, it can still happen again. Thank you.